a great opportunity it is to be here today. And I really, as Ian said, appreciate everybody coming out, family, friends, members of the service, uh, to take in what's actually a really important day uh, for members of our canine unit. Good afternoon and welcome to all our guests, K9 unit, alumni members here as well, CPS members generally. And also I'd like to extend a special thanks to Tony Ziedler of the Ziedler family. I think the park that we're in today, most know if you've been here before, but this park was made possible by a generous donation uh, made by the family in loving memory of Tony's mom, Margaret Midge Ziedler. I'm pleased to be here to present the well-deserved service medals and badges to our newly certified dog teams and to canine unit members who've demonstrated multiple years of hard work and dedicated service to Calgarians and our city. Our canine unit, as many will know well, has been an integral part of the Calgary Police Service for 62 years. It was founded, uh, many may know, by a constable named Constable Fred Moore. And Fred uh, sadly passed away, actually, earlier this year uh, as well. So I we want to certainly... Uh, um, just recognize the founding fathers of the unit who uh, who passed on. Our highly trained dog teams are an invaluable tool in locating dangerous suspects, illegal drugs, explosive materials, and also, and importantly, returning loved ones who passed on to their families so that they can be laid to rest. Our canine unit members connect with Calgarians in a variety of ways. And so some of those ways are operational ways in response to calls for service. Many of them are high risk, uh, really uh, important calls for service. And then also there's so much work that's actually done on a proactive basis, uh, building relationships with youth. And that's another reason why the park was actually located here at YouthLink is because of the strong relationship that exists between the members of our canine unit and, uh, and youth in our city. Uh, every week uh, for uh, during youth police camps and quote unquote police school, the kids actually come and they love the opportunities to interact with both the dogs and our members and to learn about community policing and actually how the canine unit actually fits into that uh, that broader delivery of service. So I just want to say thanks again to the members. I know that uh, this, you know, there's been lots of discussion about the use of uh, dogs as a tool. And I think it's been something that's been really sort of not well understood by many members of the community. And I know the members of the service have done a great job, I think, of trying to translate uh, some of that and provide that education. And at the same time, I know that, you know, day in and day out, uh, the members are out there doing a fantastic job, keeping the city safe, supporting our members uh, on the front line, and uh, and then again, doing the uh, the proactive work, the relationship work with the kids. And so I think uh, I think that just really contributes so much to what we do here as a police service. So I just want to say thanks to everybody who's here today.